now with that man getting close to wildlife. We've seen incidents like this before. This time the man caught on live stream wading into the water to take pictures of bears while they were feeding in Alaska. Diane Macedo joins us now. And Diane, he and others may be facing criminal charges here. Yeah, it still makes me nervous just looking at the video. These are grizzly bears, and it's actually illegal to get too close to them while they're feeding. But police say that didn't stop three visitors from entering this closed-off area, all to get some photos. And it turns out for at least one of them, while he was getting the bears on camera, he got himself on camera, streaming live. It's a scene right out of a nature film, a group of wild bears in Alaska's Katmai National Park fishing for salmon. But then, watch as a man suddenly appears, inching dangerously close to the unsuspecting bears. He reaches into his pocket, pulls out a camera, and starts snapping shots of the bears. He even turns his back to them to take a selfie. Then, still not satisfied, he wades even closer to the bears to take more photos. But while that man was watching the bears, an online audience was watching him on a streaming nature webcam. And those viewers alerted park officials who tracked him down. Bears are t very territorial and they're, they're focused on their fishing activities and uh, having people in that area is extremely unsafe. Park visitors are actually required to be at least 50 yards from bears while they're feeding. The man in the video and two others are now facing charges of reckless endangerment and harassing wildlife. For these individuals to be on the ground in this area, it could have gone south very quick. These are wild bears and <laughs> they, uh, they will behave as bears do. It's just the latest close call between man and beast this summer. Oh God, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Earlier this month, a man got out of his car and was caught on camera taunting a huge bison at Yellowstone National Park. Oh God, no, no, I can't watch it. <laughs> Remarkably, that man also escaped without injury, but is also now facing charges of harassing wildlife. And that man in the bison incident pleaded not guilty. Police haven't yet identified the suspects in the bear incident, but the Park Service says this is an isolated incident and most people do try their best to follow the rules. What is going on here? And in this case, weren't they in a restricted area where they shouldn't have been with the bears? They actually block off this area for a month so the bears can feed undisturbed ahead of winter. Mm -hmm. So the Park Service says sometimes judging that 50-yard rule can be difficult. Sometimes right. you only have one path to get through and the bears happen to be there. But in this case, they it sounds like it was fairly obvious that they were in an area they were not supposed to be. And sometimes, mm -hmm. if you're not putting yourself yeah. in danger, you're also putting the bears in danger. That's Luckily, true. no one yeah, was that's hurt. A really good but point. Also, but, and also, turning your back to the bears yeah, to I take know. a selfie? Not the smartest. Wow. Not the smartest. I don't think oh. you realize how fast and dangerous those oh bears goodness. are. Until they're a bison man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we could talk about this for an hour. <laughs> yeah, we could. We really could. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.